Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for another episode of Chelsea Weekly and um, you know we've got another three stories for you and getting straight into it first of all first story is about Christian Atu um, not sure if you remember him but he's the Chelsea loanee out at uh, Newcastle at the moment and the reports are saying that the 25 year old um, Ghanaian um, apparently we've sort of allowed him to move permanently to Newcastle but only if Newcastle managed to get the £6.5 million deal done within a week after the end of the season. So apparently we won £6.5 million for him. Um, he didn't do particularly great for them. He scored three goals um, this season, which, you know, is all right, I guess. But, you know, as a winger, you'd expect him to do better. Um, but, you know, uh, I'd be all right with it. Obviously, you know, Newcastle uh, yesterday or two days ago clinched promotion um, back to the Premier League. So, um, you know, it's understandable that he'd want to stay there because, you know, he's clearly getting football there. Um, you know, obviously, depending on who they sign in the summer. but And he definitely won't get football at Chelsea. Maybe he just wants to be in the Premier League and maybe it's unlikely for him to get football anywhere else in the Premier League. I don't really know. But, you know, um, if they get the deal done, so be it. I'm, I'm all right with selling him. You know, it's more money in the bank. Although it's obviously not a lot. But, um, you know, it's make it makes signing other players easier. Then the next story is just a stupid story, but it is a big story, so I have to mention it. Um, so, Belgian reports have said that Eden Hazard has signed an agreement with Real Madrid for a summer transfer. And um, it's just ridiculous. First of all, um, you know, apparently there have been secret talks ha being held. That's how this agreement has been reached. It's not even legal, to my knowledge. Like, as long as you have more than six months left in your contract, you can't just talk to players in another club. Um... If the, the the parent club of the, of the player don't allow it, and um, you know it can't be secret talks if Chelsea allow it, um, so that's obviously a bit silly in the first place. And you know, obviously, other more reliable journalists from England um, have said, it "Sounds weird, reliable journalist in England, doesn't it?" <laughs> anyway, um, have said that Chelsea are not willing to sell, and Real Madrid haven't even made an offer. Um, I mean, obviously, in theory, there could have been secret talks and an agreement reached without. Um, an offer and without Chelsea willing to sell him but um, I think it's all a bit of a bullshit story especially because just late last week there have been reports that Real Madrid actually just apparently decided against signing Eden Hazard and would rather develop uh, Marco Senzio one of their young prospects young wingers more and um, you know just decided against you know signing Eden Hazard and now apparently they've reached an agreement all seems a bit weird Eden Hazard is staying at Chelsea at least for next season, we'll, you know, the season after, we'll have to wait and see. But for next season, I'm telling you now, Eden Hazard is going to be a Chelsea. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be all right. And the last story for today, it's a bit of a weird story. Like, the bookies have made Chelsea favourites to sign Wilfried Zaha from Crystal Palace. Obviously, he's 24 years old, he's English Ivorian. He played for all the English youth teams. And now he's made, like, this year... He's played for the Ivorian national team. I'm not sure. Uh, a bit confusing there. Anyway, so apparently we're favourites to sign him, um, according to the bookies anyway. I've not heard any rumour until now that we're even in for him. Fair, fair few rumours that Tottenham want him, but nothing about us wanting him. So I find that weird. He scored six goals and um, got 11 assists this season, which is a good tally, especially for considering where Crystal Pellers were, especially you know before the last, say, six, seven, eight games um, when they started picking up form. But like, you know, start of the season with um, Alan Pardew and, you know, first eight games, I think, with Sam Allardyce didn't go so well either. So, um, yes, he's having a good season. He played extremely well against us when we played them at Sanford Bridge a few weeks back. Um, but he sh really shouldn't be the player that we, are, we we should be looking at. Like, a couple of weeks ago, there was rumours about signing Alexis Sanchez. And now it's like rumours about signing Wilfried Zaha. I mean, nah, I I'm not a fan. Again, I think he's good. But he'd know what, there's no way he'd get in our first team. And I think at the moment we should sign, especially in like our attacking force, we should sign players that would actually get into our first team rather than backups. But yeah, that, that's really it. I know it's not the longest video today. It's not been a lot of stories. It's not been the most interesting stories because, you know, the Eden Hazard one, as I said, I'm 99% sure that it's a whole load of bullshit. Um, but yeah... That's, that's all I've got for you today. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, leave me all of your thoughts on those stories down in the comment section below. Obviously, would you be all right with Chelsea selling um, Christian Atto to um, Newcastle? What about the Eden Hazard story? Do you believe it? What's your opinion on it? And then obviously, for example, would you take him? Or do you just think it's another bullshit story because the bookies, you know, they want to get some talk into stuff because, you know, they need to make money. Um, leave me all of your thoughts. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Check out 
um, yesterday's match review of our 4-2 victory over Southampton, which you'll find somewhere on the screen. Um, and also, subscribe if you haven't already. We massively do appreciate that. We just hit 28,000 subscribers, which we obviously massively appreciate. Help us get to our next target um, of 30,000 subscribers. We'd love that. We'd very much love that. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Up the chills, upwards and onwards. And I'll see you next time.